In today's video, we're gonna build and fly a fully 3D printed airplane. All right, friends, fun project today. Our good friends at Eclipse and actually sent us a 3D printed airplane. Now, originally we started this project with them about a month ago, but the original package actually was a pre-built airplane, all 3D printed. UPS wasn't too nice to it. So this time they sent us some pieces and now we get to get the experience of putting this together, building it and flying it and taking you along on the journey. So if you guys know our history, it started all the way back with Balsa and we really live in the space with foam board model airplanes. We have had some really cool experiences with some 3D models, but we haven't gotten to dig in too deeply until now. One really cool thing I'm really excited about this, this is an everyday flyer's airplane. This is not something that you're going to be afraid to take out and fly. At least that's what they said. I'm going to be partnering with my son Noah here. He's getting the pieces out. We're going to be putting them together and flying it together. So I have all these pieces here. And to be honest, I've never actually put together or flown a 3D printed plane. So working with CA and plastic pieces is a lot different from working with foam board. The CA sets up a lot quicker than the actual hot glue that we usually use on our foam board airplanes. It's really easy though because with CA there's this thing called kicker and kicker is pretty much a thing that makes the glue harden almost instantly. Something that makes this plane really easy to put together is all these tabs that are on these pieces. I used a little bit of painter's tape kind of like our foam board planes and it was actually really easy to put together. Now 3D printing's come a really long way. In the past we've flown airplanes but it's kind of been a novelty. The really cool thing now is that both printers and also the filaments that they use have come a long way and have really evolved to be an everyday usable material. Now our Model D that we're going to be building here is made out of standard PLA. I think that stands for polyactic acid. It's basically a thermoplastic. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm sorry for that. But it's a very common material used every day in 3D printers. Now the really cool thing about this is there's also something called a lightweight PLA, which is a lot harder and a lot more difficult to use because it's a fairly new material. But the really cool thing is you can save 50% of the weight when you print these models. It's something not for the beginner, but something that's definitely going to be common that's going to make model aviation and printers really work well together. I know a lot of our community members are used to using foam and maybe even balsa wood, but maybe 3D printing is a little bit new to them. It's definitely new to us here. There's a couple things you're definitely going to want here before you make your own 3D printed airplane. First thing is you're going to want to use a 3D printer. Now there's a couple really important things that you're going to need to make sure that you have in order before you make your first model airplane that you print. One thing is your print bed on your printer is really important. If it's not big enough, it's simply not going to fit and your pieces aren't going to work properly. The other really important element on your printer is going to be your nozzle. This is actually going to be printed with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and the reason that's really important is because if you have too wide or too big of a head it's going to make your model too heavy or in the case if you go smaller it's going to make it too brittle. The minimum bed size for models like these is 160 millimeters by 160 millimeters. The really cool thing with Eclipse in here is they actually tested their prints on some of the most budget sensitive and budget friendly printers and they had great success with it. Now obviously that's for the airframe. For the electronics here if you guys are familiar with the flight test community you can actually use a power pack B setup will go perfectly right over into this Model D. The really cool thing about Eclipse as well as they use common motor sizes for their designs. So just like with flight tests, if you're building out a foam board and you have a power pack B equivalent airplane, you can go ahead and hop those electronics from plane to plane. Same thing with this 3D printed plane as well. So like Josh mentioned earlier, this plane was sent to us by our good friends over at Eclipsum all the way over in Madrid, Spain, which is pretty crazy that they shipped this thing all across the world. Now we're gonna be putting it together and flying it. Now this isn't our first experience with Eclipsum planes. They make all kinds of really cool 3D printed airplanes airplane designs that you can actually download the files for and they all come at a really reasonable price between 20 and 40 bucks which is pretty cool. Now the model that we're building today is called the Model D. It's kind of got like a glass air slash cirrus slash diamond airplane kind of look to it. Uh, it looks really cool. It looks like it's going to be fast but that's what Noah is putting together right now but this isn't our first Eclipse in plane. If you haven't subscribed to our tech channel we actually recently did a review of their EBW160 3D printed flying wing. It was a blast. It's crazy how far 3D printed airplanes has come in the past couple years. And it's because of awesome people like Eclipse and that it's been happening. And they didn't want to just send us a plane to play with. They actually wanted you guys to have an experience too. So they're actually providing a coupon code for all the flight test community members out there. It's just flight. We'll put it in the link below. You can check them out in the link below. And if you use the coupon code flight, you can actually get 5% off of your 3D printed plans, which is pretty cool. Uh, now I can see Noah is getting the wing to Together. It's looking like it's coming along nicely. Let's go check it out and see how it's doing. Originally this wing came in pieces. After a little bit of gluing and a little bit of taping them together, it's actually really strong and it came together great. This is pretty crazy because I told Noah I had meetings in the morning and I'm not going to help until the afternoon, but just start on it. And I basically thought that he'd have part of a wing done. 
because I've never built a 3D printed airplane before. Me either. But we're gonna be ready to fly this pipe by the end of the day. This is crazy, what was it like? It was oddly satisfying, actually. <laughs> Therapeutic? It was therapeutic. I was terrified going into it just because when you pick it up at first it feels fragile But yeah. when you glue it all together, it just it locks in place and just it takes all the the flimsiness out of it All the flimsiness. It's crazy. And then here's the thing I was kind of worried about but I see that you already addressed basically every 3d printed piece You don't have to like kind of like put the wires in in between each each run It actually gives you the huge channels that are real smooth, right? Oh, yeah So you just pushed it through? No, I actually uh, took a piece of push rod wire Okay, and I made the little hook at the end and I pushed it through. Just like the foam model. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah, nice. and it worked even better. And you could, it was kind of oddly satisfying because you could see the wire start going through and then pop out. What I have left on it is I have to finish the linkages. We have to put on the top tail, which I need your help with because, you know. Has to be straight. Has to be straight. Okay. And then we just have to hook up the, uh, all the wires. And these just push in. Yeah, those just push in. That's cool. All right, well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm here the rest of the day. We got stickers. Yep. Let's, uh, let's finish it off and fly it. Sounds good. So what are you doing? I am putting the aura in it. So right here, this is our cool little control board that we have called the FT Aura 5. Basically, if you're a beginner, this will be like your level assist, which will bring you back to level. If you want a really smooth flight experience and you're worried about wind and stuff and the, the you know actions of the wind, you can drop this thing in here and basically takes out the effect of the wind. So it makes it like you're always flying on a calm day. I like it for a lot more reasons than that, but also I hate programming different radios and I'm a real visual guy. So if I want to kind of change this, all I have to do is put in something called quick set mode and I can see how the gyros are working. And for examples like this where my elevator is backwards, put it in quick set mode, just hold my stick for about six, seven seconds. Watch this, right there. It reverses it and also reverses the gyros. I don't even have to hook this thing up to a computer if I don't want to. So the really cool thing is when you purchase the plants from Eclipse and it range between $20 and $40, you have those plants forever and to actually print your model, it's only around $10 cost if you're using standard PLA. One thing with flight tests and also our amazing community is we love DIY. And with the foam board airplanes, you can get in the hobby really, really quick and really affordably. Now as you evolve in your journey of both flight and DIY, you kind of want to start playing with different materials. Now there's a big chasm between DIY foam board and then balsa wood, which oftentimes will take you up to a month to build, have a lot of costs involved, and it's very difficult to fabricate and replace new parts. What I really like about 3D printing, and we're also, I'm really excited as flight test to really learn more about that, is this is kind of right in the middle here. You're still gonna have very cost-effective parts. You're gonna have a little bit more upfront time in printing those parts, but at the end of the day, you're able to kind of collide two amazing hobbies together and kind of bridge that gap between foam board and balsa. Now, I'm amazed. What I thought was gonna take a couple days of putting this in together was done in just a day. We're gonna get the guys ready. This is ready to fly. We're gonna put it in the air. I'm not sure as far as like how easy or how hard this is gonna be to fly because it looks like it's gonna go 100 miles an hour. It looks fast. It looks fast. But all the videos I saw looked like it was just really, just a great cruiser. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it cruises real nice. Yeah. No doubt, we're definitely gonna be doing more with 3D printed planes. This is really cool. And the form factor that you get and like the open space in the, cab uh, in the cockpit, it's just incredible all along. I mean, you're okay. sliding the push rods through, like there's a lot of really cool benefits. One drawback obviously is if I crash this, we're not gonna be able to go back in and put some tape on it, but we can print a new piece, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm gonna fly it first and then maybe uh, hand it to my son. Yeah? Sure, sure man. Yeah, okay. Get the episode done first time. <laughs> Get the episode done. Good luck, man. You got a little bit of a crosswind. I know, a little crosswind component. Here we go. Nice! Yeah. She's up! Oh, she looks good. Wow, it's fast. Is it fast? Uh, okay, not crazy, not crazy, but it, yeah, it's definitely it hauling. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would have. It's definitely a quick, quicker I'm, than, I'm than our phone plane. Well, let's see how she flies slow here. Sometimes planes that look fast, you just inherently want to fly them fast, but you don't need to. Flying there about half speed, or yeah. half throttle? Just under half throttle. It definitely uh, is slower. But uh, overall, it's just faster than what we're used to with our foam board planes. Foam board planes have such a wide speed envelope. Let's see how she does with the gyros on now. It's so cool because the sun's shining through the 3D printed parts. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of my favorite things about chasing 3D printed planes. Yeah, Alex, I'll let you get some... Uh... You know, I joked about being able to train people off of this. I could totally train people off of this. Is it pretty docile? It's very docile, yeah. Nice, dude. It looks so cool in the air. Like, honestly, from my perspective, it looks like, uh, it doesn't look, you can't tell it's 3D printed. It looks like a composite, like, beautiful bird. I don't know why every time we go to fly a 3D printed plane, we're discouraged or we're, we're intimidated. And then you fly it and it's like, okay, well, that's not so bad. <laughs> so basically we have a rudder servo control on our nose gear. 
but that's all it's controlling. <laughs> so I'm still flying with rudder when I'm in the air with Phantom Rudder. So guys, we had a lot of fun just kind of putzing around. Let's just go ahead and see if we can stress this thing out just a little bit. And then Noah, I think we just start making you do things. <laughs> I know, okay. get it, son. Sounds good. Fast pass. Oh yeah. That thing gets She's quiet. Let's see how our pitch authority is. No figure nines here. Oh boy. Wow, that was crazy. I'm sorry, Alex. I'm being a jerk as a fellow uh, no, you're good. pilot in the air with you. So I, I put the aura in this because I did have this idea like let's let's have something I could train people off of if this was really gentle. I could totally train people how to fly off of this airplane. Um, but I didn't need it. Look at that! Yeah, that thing flies so good. It's smooth. Well done, Alvaro. I feel it's like light. I mean, hands off. I feel like this is like the common day balsa wood. It really does feel that way. Yeah. Because it just takes a long time to print, but like if you hit the ground, it's uh, you go back in the shop for a little it bit. It probably has the same damage factor as like a lot of balsa wood airplanes. But yeah, to your point, like you can just recreate any piece you want. That looks like a good flying airplane, Dad. You think uh, you think I could grab the sticks for a little? Dad doesn't share. <laughs> <laughs> but for the sake of the video. Oh, you just hand it off. Okay. <laughs> you just hand it off. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. I see. Now, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> don't do that. How does it feel, Noah? This is it's one of the most docile planes I think I've ever flown. It's, it's true. It's It flies just like an everyday uh, foam board plane, honestly. You don't get to do just circles in the air. If you want to fly it, you got to huh? do a little pass. You want me to do a little pass? Do a little pass. Okay. I won't do as low of a pass as you, but oh, come do on, it lower. Son. Yeah, fix your blood in your veins. <laughs> Yeah, we need you to be be good with skills here when I'm too ugly to be on camera. Yeah, it's no age. It's nice. It's nice. It took me a minute to get used to it just because it's such a, uh, it, it's more of a cruiser. Yeah, definitely. Really cool thing is a big shout out to our community. You guys said in a lot of different comments you want to see more 3D printing activity. This is directly because of that. But also seeing what you guys are creating already in, uh, in our community is incredible. I think 3D printing is going to be a lot more common within flight test. Oh, for um, sure. Going forward. For sure. Plus it flies so good. It's just, it's just <laughs> it looks like, it looks like a, the speed, everything. It's yeah. just scale. You hey, know, no, do a stall. Do a stall. Ready? Yep. Full back. Drops a little wing. A little bit. All right, where's my little, where's my little high speed pass? I'll give it to you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta do it. Oh, I'm gonna do it? Yeah, okay. low high speed pass. Okay. And you gotta land it too. Oh, I, I get to land this yeah. one kind of like the zero? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Didn't move all the golf carts. Mo yeah. Is there any golf <laughs> cart? not survive yeah. a golf cart hit. There it is. Good job. Yeah, buddy. There it is. All right, I'm, bro. I'm really tempted to try to do a roll. Do a roll. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. This I, I, roll. I see what you say about the... Uh, it takes everything. Yeah. So I watched a couple of release videos because I was really nervous about the way this plane looked. I didn't know if it was going to be sensitive or not. So I actually watched their like promo video on this and I was looking at, they had a camera out the side and I could see the deflection they were using and the roll rate. Made me feel really good about this airplane because everything about it is gentle. The deflection is a standard, you know, 16, 18 degrees and it doesn't bite you. You don't have to worry about different speeds, giving you different sensitivities. Um, I was, again, I was really intimidated about the idea of flying a 3D printed plane. My whole world is in balsa and foam for nothing. No, what do you say? You want to put it in for landing? Sure. Bring it on down, baby okay. boo. Yep, keep going out that way. There you go. This is like Jump the job throttle there. Yeah. yeah, with the zero. <laughs> Just fly, fly base leg. There you go. Keep it going. Don't try to slow it down or anything. Now turn your final. You're still going to be high, but that's okay. Isn't that crazy? It just glides forever. It really does. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the nose gear. <laughs> the nose gear. <laughs> yeah, I can fix that for you later. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, work, Noah. Good work, buddy. Hey, I didn't crash into a golf cart. You didn't crash into a golf cart. That's just the ground. Thing. It looks pretty good. Yeah, actually, what happened is um, skid mark. <laughs> <laughs> literally, it hit, and this is somewhat pliable, and it just turned the sideways, and then it just rolled. <laughs> it, rolled <against> the... <laughs> it rolled its ankle a little it, bit. It rolled its, its ankle. Its so ankle. I'm just gonna. You know what? I thought I was gonna crack this off, but I just straightened it out. Wow. But I'm. I'm 
really impressed though, because that was like not the, the softest of landings. No. I don't see any cracks or anything. No. It's pretty great. Cool. Everything survived. Yeah. Cool. I'm, She's gonna live another day. Yeah. Uh, what we changed is we went from a three cell to a four cell. This is a thousand KV 2212 on an eight inch prop. It is incredibly efficient, not the most powerful. Alex had an extra four cell battery that fit perfectly in there, balanced out. We need to fly it on four cell to see if thing holds together. So if it does break, don't do that. But if it works, <laughs> yeah. Do it. It's not yeah. re it's not recommended. Yeah, we should do a disclaimer. This is not the recommended setup. <laughs> but he sent it to flight. Test. He sent it to flight test, so he knew what he was getting himself into. So you he wanted go? for us. He got for us. All right, you ready? Ready to try this? I'm ready. All right, man. I'm on you. Oh no problem. Oh. No problem. Oh. Wow, that was a bit different. That was yep. crazy. All right, so Stefan, this is gonna be for you because I don't think Alex will be able to keep up. This thing is just cruising now. Hold. Yeah, that's There's the speed. Oh, vertical for days. All right, we gotta talk to our friends at Eclipse and see if we can just recommend four cell. Look at that. Oh my. This is amazing. Wow, dude. <laughs> it's Fact like that it. That is able to hold together made out of all 3D print parts is <laughs> incredible. It does feel like it's easily a 100 mile an hour plane. I have wow. to say, it looks like we just gave it a Red Bull. <laughs> and now it's just <laughs> cooking it. All right, inverted low pass? Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's in position. <laughs> Can't do anything too too crazy inverted here. Nice, dude. <laughs> yeah, easy. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's bring it in before we do anything bad. I got a little bit of battery left. You want to do like, I don't know. Maybe a uh, hammerhead or... Well, the problem is I don't have a rudder. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know if you want to do loops or anything. <laughs> yeah, let's do the world's biggest 3D printed airplane loop. Okay, you I'll ready? try to stay on you. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'll try to manage my speed. I'll take you to the ground. Oh, my. I'm so surprised those wings hold up. <laughs> that was wild. It's so cool. All right, one more, one more low pass, real low pass. And then we gotta land it. Oh my goodness. All right. Talk. You wanna set up an approach? Yep, I'm just gonna go right into Ooh, it. With some golfers down there like, huh, look at that. <laughs> All right, so let's see, setting up approach. Looking good, man. Coming right down the runway a little I bit can... hot. Don't do it, Noah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, as far as I know, four cell approved because it didn't fall apart. I don't know about the motor, but you know what? Flight test, we don't care. <laughs> so that's cool. All that, right. was, that was awesome, man. Nice flying. Thank you. Nice chasing. So, Noah, what do you think? That was awesome. That was my first experience with the 3D printed plane. I love it. liked it. All right, so guys, we're going to be doing a lot more of the 3D printed planes, but now it's up to you where we go from here. Go to a Clemson's website, pick out an airplane, say, Flight test, we want you to build this. And if you have any ideas on like what you want to see us do with it, put those in the comments as well, and we'll make Noah do it. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're doing content like this all the time. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I can't believe it's one. So Noah, tell me how you feel about your dad not letting you fly it when the four cell was in it. A little disappointed. It, it, it looked like he was having a lot of fun, so I, I let him have his fun. I'll fly the next battery. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a hashtag let Noah fly. <laughs> It's gonna be <laughs> down below. So do, you hashtag, do you hashtag let Noah fly the four cell? Right here. Tell me that. Yep.